Hi, in this video I will talk about the incontestable surah in the name of God, most gracious, most merciful, the in incontestable. What an incontestable. This is, is truly incontestable. Tamud and Ad disbelieved in the shokr. As for Tamud, they were annihilated by the devastating quake. As for Ad, they were annihilated by a persistent, violent storm. He unleashed it upon them for seven nights and eight days violently. You could see the people tossed around like decayed palm trunks. Can you find any trace of them? Parot and others before him and the sinners were wicked. They disobeyed the messenger of their Lord. Consequently, he requited them a devastating requital. <coughs> the flood was devastating, so he carried you on the flooding. They rendered it a lesson for you that any listening ear may understand. When the horn is blown once, the earth and mountains will be carried out, oh, carried off and crushed, utterly crushed. That is the day when the inevitable event will come to pass. The heaven will crack and fall apart. The angels will be all around, and your Lord's dominion will encompass. 8. So here, here we see that God saved uh, some people uh, from the that uh, torturing people, and uh, so they torture them, and they 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 are sinners, and they pressure them. So God saved them from others, and God wants to see that how uh, good uh, they will commit. And God, uh, so some people say that why God let some anger, uh, sorry, uh, why God let some pain, and why God doesn't stop it so we see that there is a there is a some line I guess this is my opinion there is a some line and the, the, the line is about so in the, in one community if all of them are so bad and only a few is good and God says them to leave that community and God punishes those, those inside and uh, <clears throat> those people so that uh, God has a limit so you cannot just do everything in the world, like you cannot just, uh, for example, you cannot just kill a lot of people, God doesn't allow us. There, is, there are always limits. And once you attempt it, it's like a thing like the world is like a, some sort of uh, thing that the box of things. And you, God allows you only do those bad things for a while. And if you keep trying to do it, and then God will stop you. And then that is like a... And then you and those people will inevitably go to hell because they're pushing the sinner, pushing to be sinner. So they're doing their best to hurt other people, and they they are aware of it. They aware of it, and they were called and warned by messengers, but they didn't take into account. They said, and they were worshiping their ego, and they didn't listen. As for the one who receives his record in, in his right hand, he will say, Come, read my record. I did believe that I was going to be held accountable. He has deserved a happy life in an exalted paradise. His fruits are within reach. Eat and drink happily in return for your works in the past days. As for him who is giving his record in his left hand, he will say, As I said in the previous videos, uh, in heaven always mentioned after, so heaven and hell generally mentioned together, and it makes people uh, think emotionally like there's a harmony. So if you only mention the heaven, uh, people will be happy. Uh, and then if then uh, have hell also to give them a rational idea of afterlife. I wish I never knew my account. I wish my death was eternal. My money cannot help me. All my power is gone. Take him and shackle him. Burn him in hell. In a chain that is 70 arms long, tie him up. For he didn't believe in God, most greed nor did he advocate the feeding of the poor. Consequently, he has no friend here, nor any food except the bitter variety, food for the sinners. I swear what you, by what you see and what you do not see. This is the utterance of an honorable messenger, not the utterance of a poet, rarely do you believe, nor the utterance of a soothsayer, rarely do you take heed. A, a, a revelation from the Lord of... Uh,